So far, we've come up with a way to take advantage of the Earth's magnetic field in space. We came up with the idea of using magnetotorquers to steer a me metallic blanket or some object towards an enemy satellite. In the case of the magnetotorquer, we have electrons that are moving in the Earth's magnetic field because there is current flowing in the wire loops. But wait, any conductor has free electrons in it, and our satellite has lots of metal in it, or on it. The exterior of a ex satellite is typically made out of metal to help shield the internal electronics from the solar wind, for example. Think back on the video we saw last time showing the solar wind and also on our discussion about EMPs. Metals have lots of free electrons. If the metal exterior of the satellite is moving through the Earth's magnetic field, it means the free electrons in the metal are moving along with the satellite through the Earth's magnetic field. We might imagine that these electrons will also feel a Lorentz force. To investigate this, let's consider the metal portion of our satellite shown here. Let's say it's about 10 meters long in this direction, and that it's moving at a low Earth orbital speed, uh, U magnitude is 7.8 kilometers per second, and it's moving perpendicularly to the Earth's magnetic field. So B applied here is the Earth Earth's magnetic field, and here the direction of the satellite is indicated. So we'll say the Earth's magnetic field has a strength of uh, 50 microteslas. What will happen when this conducting piece of metal is moving in the Earth's magnetic field, which is an applied B field? You can pause the video for a minute. When the metal exterior of the satellite moves, free electrons within the metal are dragged along with the satellite. And they will feel, experience, a Lorentz force, F on the electron is minus E U crossed with B applied. And U cross B applied is an upward direction. So when we multiply that by minus E, this Lorentz force is going to move the electrons with a minus E charge towards the lower end of the satellite, giving that end a net uh, negative charge rel relative to the upper end of the satellite. But if the electrons congregate at the bottom of the satellite, now what do we have? We have separation of charge. The top of the satellite has a net positive charge, and whenever we have a separation of charge, we'll get an electric field extending from the positive end of the satellite to the negative end of the satellite. So this is our electric field. This induces a voltage, a potential difference, which we'll call V induced. So that is in this direction, V induced. This V-induced is also called emotional electromotive force. So V-induced is also V-EMF, electromotive force. So now what happens? Is that it? Here's a hint. Think back on our discussion in Wave Propagation Notes 2 with respect to electric fields.